Hello everyone. Today we are looking for the letter M in this very cool picture. Now this picture says M. <laughs> it's for my little helper. Say hello. <laughs> and M is for Mary Moose. And she's having fun at the carnival. So see what letter M words you can find. And there is a tricky one. We're going to look for the mitten. Let's have a look. You sit here. Sit here. You can see. Now, I'm going to show you my trick for finding things in pictures like this. I use my finger and I start on this side and I move across. So I find the mitten that starts with the letter M. Let's see. That's the moose. Careful. I think I see it. Look as I pass it. See if you spot it. Do you see the mitten? Good job. Now can you spot a mushroom anywhere in this picture? I want you to do the same thing. Start at the top. Let's see. Move across. See what you see. You see a mushroom. Sit over here. You see a mushroom anywhere? Let's go across. No. Do we see a mushroom in this line? No. Just move a little bit further down. Maybe it's in this line. Mm. Oh, look what I found. Look at that green thing on top of the pumpkin. That's a mushroom. Well done. Now, do you spot some music notes? Let's see. Oh, I spotted them as we went past last time. Do you spot them near the top there? Well done. Over there on top of the hat are the music notes. Now, I'm going to take a photo of this picture and I want you to see if you can spot the other Mmm, words. Well done. I'd like to read you a few funny poems that, that are selected by William Cole. And the pictures are very small, but the words are very funny. So, this first one is about somebody who by mistake swallowed a bug. Here's a picture. You see, it's a tiny little picture. And it says, accidentally, that means by mistake. Once, I didn't mean to, but that was that. I yawned in the sunshine ooh, and swallowed a gnat. I'd rather eat mushrooms and bullfrogs' legs I'd rather have pepper all over my eggs than open my mouth on a sleepy day and close on a gnat going down that way. It tasted sort of salty. It didn't hurt a bit. I accidentally ate a gnat. And that was it. Can you see the picture? It is so funny. One of those little bugs got stuck in her throat. And that funny poem is by Maxine W. Cummin. Through the teeth and past the gums, look out stomach, here it comes. Here's the picture. Do you see they're eating cookies? Now I want to say it a few times and I want you to try say it with me. And I want you to practice saying it whenever you eat something for the next few days. Through the teeth, past the gums, look out stomach, here it comes. Through the teeth and past the gums, look out stomach, here it comes. Here we go. So your mums and dads can see it and grannies. It's called Through the Teeth. And it's a nice rhyme to learn because it's very short, but very fun. Now let's say that funny one about eating a peach. It's such a shock, I almost screech when I find a worm inside my peach. But then what really makes me blue 
is to find a worm who's bit in two. This one's by William Cole. And do you know why it's such a shock? No one wants to have a worm that's bit in two inside their peach because that means the other half is in their belly. Yuck! You can also learn this one if you want. It's such a shock I almost screech when I find a worm inside my peach. But then what really makes me blue is to find a worm who's bit in two. Now can you hear some of the words rhyme, screech and peach? Blue and two. Now I want to show you I've got a few other rhyming words here. I've got my special bag. Oh, let me show you. It's like a mermaid tail. Oh, and it's full of very fun things. Let me see. I've got, what is this? A hat. What else do I have in there? A dot or a spot. What else is in there? Ooh, a cat. Does a cat rhyme with any of these words? Does it sound the same as spot? Spot, the end of the word, and cat? <laughs> they both end with a t, but they don't have the same sound. Cat. Hat. <gasps> You're right. Cat and hat rhyme. Let's see. Let's see if we have anything else in here. Oh, there's someone heavy on top. Let's see what we have. I have got a crown. What else do we have? Let's put it down. I have got a dot, a pot. And I've just given you the answer. Pot goes with dot. You're right. Pot and dot. What else do I have in here? I've got a lot of things in here. I've got a car, a very cute little car. Let's see, I've got a dog, dog, car. No, that doesn't have the same ending. I've got a dish. Let's see what else we have. I've got something that is brown. Now, does brown rhyme with any of these things? What about brown and dog? Does it have the same ending at the end? Listen, brown, dog, no. What about brown, cat, no. What about brown, crown? Did you hear that? Brown, crown. Very good. Those two rhyme. Brown and crown. What else do we have in here? Be gentle with that. No. Can you hold this? What is this? We've got a little frog. Look at here. We've got a frog and a dog. Frog, dog. Very good. We've got a cat and a hat. We've got brown and crown. We've got pot and dot. Now we still have a car and a dish and we need to find them a partner. Do you think I've got anything else in this mermaid bag? No. <gasps> There's something little. Whoop, where is it? A little fish to go with my dish. Fish and dish. And I just see now that my car lost what rhymes with it. Think about what rhymes with car. <laughs> You're right. Star and Car. They rhyme. Star. Car. Very good. Well done. You can make your own rhyming game at home. Ask granny or mum or dad, whoever's with you at home,
to help you find things that rhyme. No. And once you have five or six different rhyming things that go together, rhyming pairs, that's what we call it when we have two, a pair, brown and crown. Once you've decided on five or six groups, then put them in a bag, jumble it all up, and see if you can remember which ones go with what and which ones rhyme with each other. I can't wait to hear how you enjoyed that game.